My name is Red Riding Hood. I have no father, no mother, no fear. An itching urge for vengeance is what brought me here. My father died in a work accident four years ago today. Well, I don't believe in accidents. I believe someone should pay. I came back to the city in search of answers and for the man who ruined my life, B.B. Wolf. So, in case you doubt it, this is no fairy tale, because there is nothing fair about it. I arrived 14 days ago and sought a place to hide. An old woman rented me this dusty attic, and since I must lay low, I left my room only at night. I hadn't set foot in Ulrica since I was about eight years old. I heard about its downfall from the papers father brought home and the stories he then told. Though we lived in the forest, father came to work here every single day and witnessed this once blooming city wilt and fade away. Today is a big day, for after two weeks of exploration, I'm off to break into the city archives and retrieve some information. I'm not after a bloodbath, I want justice. So fingers crossed I get there without getting noticed. Granny hugged me goodbye with tears in her eyes. She handed me a basket filled with food. I promise to come back soon with answers and with B.B. Wolf's blood on my hood. This place has changed. The curfew cleared the streets and drapes went down along with the sun. Bibi Wolf's iron fist was like a punch to Ulrika's face, bruising the memory of his late father's reign and the city's glory days. The only faces in Ulrika today are the ones on these posters. Hundreds of girls gone missing. Hundreds of families cut apart.
Aw, oh, come on. That's not very pedestrian friendly. Over time, tin replaced flesh and blood. In the factory as well as in the streets, driving families into poverty and honest men to dishonest deeds. All this tree climbing as a kid finally paid off. Okay, so you guys keep on doing that and pretend I'm not here. What a ghost town this has become. behind my father's death was buried along with his body. Lips were sealed and the case was closed, but not for me. I had already lost a parent. This simply couldn't be. For weeks I cried, for months I couldn't speak. Until finally, I was done feeling so broken and weak. I asked Granny to teach me how to hunt and how to fight. Now, at last, I'm ready to make things right.
At least Wolf was kind enough to install a cable ride across the river. Kudos. My biceps are going to be sore tomorrow. Don't mind me, guys. City archives, where the investigation of father's death was put to rest. I must get inside. <sighs> yeah, no way I can sneak past those bastards. Boxes where you both. in boxes where you belong. These piles of paper, covered with dust and lies, might just contain a clue to help me uncover the truth. Suspect in the disappearance of Ulrika's women, and my father's death as well? Who is this creature from hell? An ugly face, hiding ugly secrets. And an even uglier contractor, so it seems. Looks like the sewer is my next stop. Well, 
I'm ready to crack open this can of worms. Now, how about a tin opener? <laughs> Even better. Let's go find that filthy rat. <laughs>